Welcome to Wildlife Wednesdays. My name is Emma Jane and I'm the girl who tells you stories about Johnny McGorry. And this series is designed to help you and your family reconnect with Ireland's unique and wonderful wildlife. So within each series, we're going to talk about the animals that are in the Johnny McGorry book. And hopefully you might learn something and your little explorer might learn something too. If you find this useful, I would really appreciate if you could share and send it on. Welcome to, to the episode six of Johnny McGorry's Wildlife Wednesday. Today's episode, we are covering the corn crake or the Trayanok in Johnny McGorry in the Magic of Wild book. So, oh, the corn crake or the Trayanok is one of my favourite birds to speak to children about when I'm reading books in school. And the reason being is that not a lot of people actually know anything about the corn crake. These guys are super endangered. There's actually only last year, they reckon, about 150 males left here in Ireland. So really, really endangered. We're here at Ballinapa Lake in County Kildare in Ireland. There would have been corn crakes around here many years ago, but unfortunately there isn't any more. If you want to go find a corn crake, your best bet, hop in the car and head off up the north to Donegal. Basically around Donegal, Sligo, that region, there is actually corn crakes there and they're nesting on the cliffs and then on the islands off the coast of Donegal as well. So they have quite a, a flight to come here every year. So they don't live here all year round, but they do fly all the way from Africa in the summer to us here in Ireland. And then once they have their chicks, usually between around six to 14 eggs is what the mother will lay, they get back on the bus head back to Africa. No, they fly back. So there's some distance to be flying when you're a little bird. And they are actually a little bird. The corn crakes are around the size of a blackbird, so they're not too big. The corn crakes name, as I say to the kids, it's an easy one to remember if you think of your breakfast and think of corn flakes and then think of the corn crake. But their name, corn crake, actually gives off an awful lot about these guys and what they do. So the first part of their name is corn. So where do you think they'd like to live? They don't live up in trees like other birds. No, they build their nests on the ground or what we call a ground dwelling bird. And the corn crakes love to build their nests in amongst crops and also long grasses in a meadow. But because of their love for nesting in crops and on the ground in them, that has actually had an awful lot to do with their demise in numbers in Ireland. So I suppose if you think about it, the guys like making their nests in the crop and unfortunately when it comes to harvest and there's combines in the field or even earlier in the summer actually that's when a lot of it's done when the farmers are cutting their first go of silage uh, unfortunately the corn crakes nests are being destroyed but the farmers still have to make us food and they have such an important job to do so there's lots of people all around that are setting up sanctuaries and even the irish government actually are putting loads of money behind it to make sure the corn crake doesn't go extinct now the second part of its name, Crake, their scientific name is actually Crack Cracks, right? And I can't say it properly, but the reason they're called that is because of the noise they make. So after this video, maybe you can Google the sound that the corn crake makes because it makes this mass. It's like two cheese graters going against each other in the back of their throat. And that's why they're called the corn crake. In fact, some people reckon that they're actually the worst singer of all the birds because of their voice. That's it for today's episode on the corn crake. And the corn crake is actually episode number six in Johnny McGorry and the Magical Wild Book. So basically we're finished up that season. We're going to be moving on to Johnny McGorry and the game of rounders next and discovering all of the wildlife that lives around our beautiful Irish bogs. If you have any comments, queries or questions, as always, leave them down below. I am not an expert in this area at all, but I just have a huge passion for it. So if you could share it with somebody else, I'd really appreciate it too. Take care. Sláin.